Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Is this a flaw in top Hi-Fi power bars or just most power bars and conditioners? I think it is. I, you know, <clears throat> often when I uh, sleep, I don't know why this happens, but, um, you know, ideas like this just come to me. Uh, this is kind of what I lose uh, sleep over. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bit pathetic. Um, it's been bugging me, cause cause I remember owning for a short period an AudioQuest uh, Niagara bar, um, and I really liked it. You know, it did so many things that were so good. I was really close at at saying like, yeah, this is it. This is it. I also had a Gigawatt, um, had several Gigawatt uh, power bars, PF2, Mark II, and uh, PC3, Evo, SE+, Plus, something like that. And then some others that I, that I borrowed. Um, one consistent thing that irritated me with all of these boxes, I don't know if you can see it, can you find the the error on on the design here? These this is by the way an AudioQuest Niagara five thousand power box. Can can you see what the what the problem is when when you look at this? Um, and I, and I was going for 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 like a long period of time saying that there's something about the sound that just isn't quite right. You know, it doesn't doesn't quite release. It doesn't quite have that naturality, you know. It, it it imposes its own character on the sound. There's something not quite right, you know. It has. I think the the Audio Quest Niagara <clears throat> five thousand and seven thousand box are like some of the best ever boxes in the world. Most likely mm, top five, top ten boxes in the world. I mean, they're really good. You get a lot of power, you get a lot of separation, you get a lot of control, huge soundstage, huge bass. And it's pretty natural, you know, compared to the Gigawatt, I think it's it, this was more natural. But there's something oh, not not quite right. And, and, I, and I found out what it was. Notice these uh, threads here. These are solid core threads. And have you noticed another thing? They are short solid core threads now when when you do that when you have such short um can't, you can't call them threads but cores solid cores of cables that destroys sound okay it gives you an, a fantastic amount of power of control i mean it feels like you're you're like the king of the world you can do anything that you want but it just can't get that last bit of naturality that, that I think we all need. And also these toroidal transformers here, whatever you, you call them, um, they're also not good. Uh, I think, it, it, it again, it does the same thing, you know. It, it, it gives you, like, endless amounts of power and soundstage and bass and stuff like that. And there's, there's a huge amount of reaction. You know, that's one of the reasons why I love AudioQuest at, at this level, 3,000, 5,000, 7,000 models especially. My God, the amount of power and drive that you get is just mind-boggling. And I think that AudioQuest also make, you know, put in some pretty decent plugs that you don't see with, with other manufacturers. That's also like one of the reasons why they're so good. But that is the big problem that that is the big problem it's it's the solid core cable plus the screw connectors plus that it's so short you know this is like 10 centimeters like what what are you doing you know i i've listened to solid core cables that that were half a meter a meter two meter every time you you went down from two meters like half down it got it got too unnatural and edgy and, and you know too much in a hi-fi mode you know having such short solid core cables i don't like it you know i really don't like it and um i think that 
if audio quest and this is not just audio quest this is the entire market basically i just want to say that i'm i'm I myself have now an isolate mini sub access after having tried this and I was damn close at buying the audio quest uh, Niagara models because they just were so much more powerful and impressive but I just can't live with the fact that they aren't more natural um, that destroyed it a bit for me and I feel that a lot of people are also hearing this but because they don't know how it's designed then they don't know what to listen for so I, I think this tricks a lot of people in the business is this still better than a normal power bar of course this is 10 times better than a normal power bar is this still better than most other power uh, cleaners conditioners or whatever they're called on the market of course a, a, a lot better than those and, and they cost probably a bit less the same or more than this audio quest are, are just brilliant at, at this stuff but i think that the whole industry <clears throat> making power bars have has lost their touch with what makes sound natural and I was also talking to engineers about this, saying that how can it be that we have people that are so smart? I mean, these are people that are 10 times smarter than me, that they have IQs of like 150 and upwards. How can it be these intelligent people are not fully listening to the in equipment and fully understanding what the what it's doing? I know that, you know, there are certain professionals in the industry which, which i won't mention that that have the ability that run certain companies that also have have told me that that's one of the reasons why they don't use power conditioners uh, and these fancy power bars and stuff like that because it inhibits dynamics and stuff like that i don't feel that when you're up in this level it inhibits dynamics not at all the problem is naturality you, you we are giving our equipment like like a jolt of energy is going like doo, 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 doo. you know it's the, when you have a design like this the problem i see is that it's so close to perfection it's so close but you need threads you need fine threads and you know they could possibly be this short you know but you it needs to be fine thread you can't have screws you can't have ter terminating <coughs> ends with i don't know what it is it looks like almost like a spade plug screw thingy going into the screw going on into the board and stuff like that that isn't good enough you know it it, it has a problem of giving you like an endless amount of power at the expense of that last bit of naturality that you need so you need this is how i see it you need like the isolate boxes you need thread fine high quality thread that you can get approved you know these companies have to get it approved you know personally if i could you know if, if it was legal what i would do personally if it was legal i would take like an audio note <coughs> spx uh, which is a signal cable uh, speaker cable and then take it from like here over directly to the board but I'd have it soldered on the board because when you solder it it gives it that magical touch it gives it that naturality that natural way of like whoosh, letting go of the sound when you have solid core wires which audio quests gigawatts and other most other manufacturers are doing uh, especially in, in the higher end what it does is that it gives you such a cool structure so much power such a big sound stage so much separation but it's not going deep into the sound stage and giving you the substance the feel the sincerity the the fragileness it's staying in this like locked cool yeah i'll do that for you baby kind of kind of mode a bit vulgar 
a bit nasty you know you're getting into this sort of uh, i don't know what you would call this normal pretend hi-fi expensive gear sound that i don't like but which is a standard in the world you know we're getting over to a wilson audio macintosh mit cable type of sound doing this okay and, and that's gonna impress like 90 percent of people out there that you know that don't that don't have the proper experience listening to music okay so fine for those people fine you know let, let them buy that but for people that are really tuned in to what's going on who's really able to to understand things you know and i have to tell you guys this the reason why i could hear this so much better than most people is because all the gear that i've tried but also because i made the experiment of using solid core cables and having done that experiment gave me so much more understanding of what solid core cables are doing to the sound it's a way of cheating where you get so much value but at the expense of naturality so that's all i have to say remember to uh, like and subscribe um I've, I've written down some some extra things you guys can can um, can look into here and you know if you also took like uh one thing i want to mention is that you know gigawatt one of the problems i have with, with gigawatt design is the thing that i just showed you here with, with the solid core cables and the slabs of metal uh, that that these things touch the toroidal transformers or whatever you call them these these metal like things um combined with these you know half cheapish plugs that have rhodium on them um i think that that helps prioritize raw detail too much instead of having a more balanced substance like sound so um if AudioQuest and Gigawatt could do this, my God, they would totally th almost thrash, isolate, and, and, you know, hit a, a triple home run out of the park. You know, all they need to do is solder this to the board, have like the highest quality silver cable that they can use from their own cable line. Don't use these like legal, normal thingies. You know, I don't care if it's, if it's Gigawatt, uh, in-wall cable, solid core thread um cables here it has to be a threaded fine piece of 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 um of cable that's going to give it that delicate beautiful human like touch and it's going to be like instead of, instead of the flow it's going to go like it's going to go like it's going to it's going to be become fine and beautiful and you're gonna you know fall in love with your gear it's gonna make sound magical at all companies almost almost all companies are not getting this in the hi-fi world so these connectors here with the um the these plugs here these screw plugs it, it's not a good idea we, we're doing this too much in, in the hi-fi world and you know these things here they need to be like high quality transformers you know isolate got got that you know and you know you know if you had a lot of money and you were rich you, you could also like upgrade the uh, you know the resistors here put some proper resistors in better caps and, and stuff like that L like i've written down here you know um I feel that this is a, a very important thing that we're missing. And I feel that this is one of the reasons why when we're listening to most transistor gear in the world, um, that it just doesn't release. It doesn't become natural. And it's, it's especially because gear like this, the, you know, AudioQuest makes basically the best power conditioners in the world together with, with gigawatts and, and isolate. You know, I think isolate is though better because of the naturality you know it, it, it isn't as impressive getting isolates um that's what i see but 
they're really close you know they're really close to perfection if we could start doing this in the hi-fi world just imagine if audio notes started um making power bars power conditioners and you know they used their own high quality cables on it you know um threaded cables instead of these like um jolted solid core cables with connectors at the end just imagine if, if they started doing it and they used their resistors and, and their good caps and and their and then you know their, their transformers just from the lower end you know the lower end line just use that instead of these toroidal transformers or whatever they're called we would have a, a totally different level of um naturality that it's so important you know it, it because when you when you when you do things like this sound becomes all about raw information and structure and 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 it has this like linear thing where the bass is in its own box separate from the mid-range in its own box separated from the treble in its own box it's like flat up against the wall you're turning it up of course because it's a power conditioner you have a lot more volume stability you can just keep on cranking up that volume and of course you know when you give up gear like this which is awesome gear and you put like a normal power bar on it you just realize like wow you know the sound stage just collapsed and this you know suddenly you're not hearing as much detail and suddenly everything's not as stable in volume and separated and clear and stuff like that but again to some degree a normal power bar just sounds more natural because it has threaded metal in it you know metal wire in it it all interacts in a more direct way there's there's less signature uh, what to call this there's less uh, signal you know it's a shorter circuitry that you have so in a way it kind of reacts more even though it's you know darker closed in more harsh uh, unstable in sound and you know you don't get nearly as much 3d but at least it's it's a sort of a natural way of of like uh, unloading the sound you know even though it's harsh and hiding itself from you so we're close you know we're, we're close with making all of the power bars on the market and this is not specifically to, to say anything bad about audioquest audioquest are like the best ones in the game together with gigawatt and isolate i think that just overall the, the the designs you know and this is coming from me who isn't even an engineer i've heard designs where we went away from solid core and toroidal transformers and we went over to proper transformers and proper cables and they were and then they were sold it properly on the board which is like when you have a proper soldering tin not a normal one but a proper one you can just hear that you know the way that it commutes uh, communicates the the love the respect the the honor that suddenly you know uh, appears you know whereas when we have this thing here with solid core like most designs have it puts it in a very stranger like type of flow where it's kind of talking to you in this way and it's being cool and it's got all the detail it's got all the information but it's over there it's doing its thing you know it's everything's in boxes it's 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 like this you know give me my coffee and like you know it doesn't release itself and surrender itself to you and, and embrace you with with its warmness you know it doesn't love you it does not love you and that's the, that's the thing our gear needs to love us more <laughs> i know i'm sound, I'm sounding like a crazy idiot here but that's the problem with most hi-fi gear it's too perfect it's too nice it's too polite it needs to surrender itself and lower its guard and treat you like it's part of the family and show respect not just say like oh you 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 treat me with respect and i'll treat you with respect you know like like denzel washington or whatever um where you've got this like hard surface like uh, way of, of talking to people without you know that's, that's just like you know pretend makeup bullshit um 
this is this is the stuff at the core of our sound that's mm, in a way polluting it and, and destroying it and this is why we have uncertainty this is why we are not buying enough power bars i think personally even if we can't fix this problem more people should have power bars like this because they don't realize the amount of information that they're missing in the recordings and the 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 clarity and and just the stability of the sound how you're able to to listen to something at such a high level and have so much detail and not you know constantly have to go over to your sound equipment and turn it on and you know up and down that that's amazing you know especially when you get into models like this you know the Autocrest Niagara 5000 so we're we're so close we're so close so let, let's get there together let's put some crazy good cable you know audiquist just needs to put some of their own uh threaded cable in it you know and and you know it's difficult to get you know safe approved power cable into to things like this you know i, I know that's a struggle you have to kind of you know twist the arms of, of these authorities and, and get them to to like say like the, 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 this is really good cable you know just but that's that's a whole different struggle in itself I know that ISIL 8 were able to do that with their design. Um, it, it, they are able to do it. They have, uh, you know, threaded soft core cables in, in, in their design. Um, I think they're also silver coated um, copper threaded cables. You know, excellent. When, when you can do that, that's one of the reasons why you get a natural sound. And of course, you know, ideally we also want to like, you know, turn down the 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 whole circuitry so that we have less and less stuff going on. You know, that 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 would be nice, you know, so we don't have so many parts. But when we can start doing that, the the equipment surrenders itself and it becomes a part of your family. It's it's a beautiful thing. I've seen it happen with some uh, do-it-yourself designs. I've seen it on the ISIL eight, which is a, a box that's um, I think it's the best box on the market, um, money-wise, uh, value-wise. You could probably build a, a box that is better, but it would most likely cost more. Um, and and yeah, you know, as a later thing, later on in the future, we need to focus on these. Um, resistors because you know these are also like the type of resistors that are in my a isolate box mini sub axis and um i have to tell you guys these aren't good enough you know all gear on the market basically uses these in uh, in power boxes and and you know they they function they do they do their job on a technical level but they also you know destroy the life vibrancy but you know in in, in order for to, you to put proper uh, resistors on it like audio you know, tantalum resistors stuff like that you need to first fix these things that are locking the sound and, that, and that's essentially what it's doing you know the sound is perfect it has everything but the sound is locked it's not natural it doesn't you know, go the through through the different personalities on the emotional scale. It's all cool. It's all over there. It's locked. All your cables sound pretty much the same when we have boxes like this. This is why I bought my isolate box because I didn't want something, you know, putting its own uh, character on the sound. I wanted it to be free. I wanted to hear the weaknesses of the gear that I had because at least when you can hear the weaknesses, you could you can you can tweak the sound you know you can use different cables you can use different units you, you can hear that you know that freeing up that that this is like this ah and this is like that you don't you don't just have like hi-fi mode like this is a dark sound this is a bright sound and this is like uh, cool and this is like much more cool for a, a, a more expensive price you know that's what we need that's what we need for getting everybody in the hi-fi game fully understanding what's going on i feel that most people kind of can relate to this video and it's only because me now having made a video about it will will make them go like oh yeah, yeah. that's how it works that's why i didn't buy it that 
And um, so let's do this together. Let's make hi-fi more natural so we can uh, enjoy our music more and um, make it more human. Simply make it a lot more human. So this is me logging off. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, yeah, have a nice day.